Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships. Today, without wasting your much time, we are going to discuss about the Australian University Scholarships without IELTS. You don't need IELTS to submit uh, the admission in these universities and you can study without the IELTS and you can complete the bachelor's, master's and PhD courses for the session 2023 and 2024 and we will show you the full process about this scholarship. Before that, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel Full Scholarships and follow us on Instagram page as well. So you can check out the Instagram page Full Scholarships and also the link for this Australian University Scholarship without eyelids is given in the YouTube video description. Check out the link given in the video description below and the links are there as usual and once you click on the apply link it will take you to our website here or you can directly visit fullscholarships.net or cashmillook.com and you can scan the QR code on the Instagram posts here and it will take you directly to the same scholarship that you are looking or seeking for. Once you are redirected to our website you can check out the details by yourself and you can read them here. So let's start the uh, basic details. Let's start with the basic details. So apply for the scholarships in Australia that too without IELTS in 2023 and there is no limit to candidates based on their nationality. So you are uh, welcome to apply. And every year Australian universities award most scholarship to overseas student and there are almost eight universities in Australia where you can apply without IELTS and without taking the exams and then the financial coverages depend on the university and the course or the scholarship that are you that you are receiving or the funding the type and the Australian government has raised the amount of immigrants from the 35,000 to the 1,95,000 around 200k and this means a lot and uh, there's a lot of difference and then you have the very high chances of getting to Australia without eyelids in 2023 and the financial coverage uh, completes the travel assistance, health insurance, full tuition fees and the monthly stipend and the airline tickets as well. So then how do you apply for these list of universities is published on our website so you can check out starting with the University of Melbourne there are 600 graduate scholarships and then you have the Australian National University they have the scholarships there and then you have the Smania University uh, then they have at least 150 scholarships there and the awards are there then you have the university of technology sydney 2023 scholarships and the this is one of the top institutions as well then you have the daikin university and they have the scholarships around 400 scholarships each year and then you have the canberra university and they have the scholarships as well starting then at the seventh is the uh, south australian scholarship uh, South Australian University scholarships and they have the 300 awards each year for the full-time masters and doctoral students and then you have other list of uh, universities where you can go without taking the IELTS exam and uh, these include the Swinburne University of Technology, Bond University, University of Queensland and the University of Southern Queensland then you have the University of New South Wales, Macquarie University and then you have the University of Southern Australia or University of South Australia. Then you have the University of Adelaide as well. So as you know recently the Adelaide was one of the top uh, preferred locations by tourists as they hosted the World Cup ICC T20 there. And uh, now how to do apply to these scholarship opportunities or all you need to do is just have the admission among these university and they automatically consider the incoming student or the prospective student for the scholarships based on their performances and the grades that you had in the previous exams as well. So it depends on, it varies on each university. But let's start with the University of Melbourne, how you can skip the eyelids if there is mentioned anywhere by the English proficiency certificate and you can get that certificate from us the English proficiency certificate then you have to get it printed on the letterhead of the institution and step it by the that is and the sign sign and the signature of that institution as well so click on this visit here button to apply for the Melbourne University here so click on this uh, once you click on that you can check the University of Melbourne official website is there and the graduate research page is there and all details on this page are mentioned and on the right hand side you can check domestic applications means if you are already a Melbourne or the Australian citizenship 
having the that passport you can apply through domestic application but as 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 an international student like me i'm applying there so i have to choose the international application section here so click on this second tab here app international applications tab here upon clicking on that you can check the international applications graduate research pages there and the entry requirements applications offers and enrollment and fees and payments are also listed here so each and every tab is there now to start the application click on this applications tab here upon clicking on that applications tab and you can check the information so scroll down so first is the how to apply so choose your course and then step 2 check your eligibility and fees then prepare your documentation and step 4 is apply with the melbourne so simply these are the basic uh, then uh, these are the basic requirements and each and every one almost completes and that's why you are watching this video so if you are looking for going to australia without ielts then you are right at the right place simply click on this step 4 apply with melbourne once you click on that it will directly take you and scroll the page up and take you to step 4 apply with melbourne so how to apply So if you are already a student at Melbourne then you know how the process is and you have to go through current account but if you are a new student and wish to go with the Melbourne University so you need to click on this you can apply online here so click on this you can apply online here and once you click on that you can check courses and the scholarships application so how to apply and manage your application each and every detail is given here so if you are here for the first time as a new international student so click on this apply as a new student here so let me open this and once you click on this apply as a new student a page will be shown there so you have to sign up so sometimes it might show error so you have to clear the history of the browser so let me check that first so as you see upon clicking on the first time user or the new student you can check you have to fill the registration section then this is the personal details the email and the phone details and the address details then you have citizenship like do you hold so you select this international student with a visa or a temporary resident or intend to apply for a visa then agree to the terms and conditions and so you have to wait for this so that the page reloads and new tabs appear here for you then uh, for the new first time users so let's fill this information so starting with the like we have the mr and your given name choose the name then the family name and the date of birth that you hold so this should be as per the passport and the documents that you had previously and then should you submit that then select the gender so wait for the page so it reloads each time you fill any information and now select the gender and then uh, email address then your phone number so please wait for the address details to reflect here and uh, upon that once you complete all these tabs a uh, citizenship so these are basic details and then once you click on that this type of login will be there so click on the login with the username and the password that you had and just click on the login and upon logging in so you can check the personal details are there so my details will be already there then the contact information is there the tab is there so contact details will be there so that i added just in the sign up process here and similarly the uh, emergency and contact details are there and they will be also added here so as you sign up in this form then you have the disability form and if you had any other disabilities you should mention that and update that then you have the citizenship and the residency tab and you have to upload that here and the details you have to mention are already there and if you want ad advance or the update you can do that so just submit that details and then click on the cultural tab here and wait for the cultural tab so select the main language as english and then select the australian uh, this selected no then click on the educational background and for that you have to uh, update the reasons why you do want to study there and enter the highest education details so click on this add new and add the details after that click on the sanctions tab here and then i don't have any sanctions upon me so just there is nothing to show then click on the university declaration and agreement history and you can check 
I had previously on the 14th August I had showed the application process this is the demo application that I already submitted and it was in the demo mode so I agreed to terms and conditions then click on the parent and the guardian information so that is the their information and then the documents tab so this information has to be submitted here so let me show you where and you will be clear there so first is the registration the so it okay first is registration tab then second is the select information then third is apply fourth is submit and fifth is complete so in complete there might be some application fee so you have to do that so let me zoom out this screen a little bit so that you can see so you can check register select apply submit and complete so these are the tabs you have to complete so let me retry and submit the information one by one so we had submitted the information for the address details and in citizenship choose the country of citizenship so you have to mention as per the passport so i will submit that and i will just submit the information here so choose the country again you have to mention it two to three times now click on the save and do you have double citizenship so if you had just select no and then move to the submission country which country are you submitting this application form so choose the in uh, country that you have so right now i'm in india so i'll be selecting that and then if you are applying through educational agent so you can select that if there is anyone but you are not yourself applying and then you have the cultural details so choose the country of birth as per the passport and wait for the page to reflect the change and in matter of seconds this will be reflected so wait for it and then you have the previous student details are you previously at a student at the melbourne so i was not so selected no then your disability details and so let me re-log in as it just so let me select the no so you have to clear history each time you uh, apply there so their uh, website is very reactive so you have to uh, clear the information caches and you can check the information is not saved that i filled so you have to be very quick on that so just keep eye on that and be uh, very quick on this so just me uh, let me submit again this information and i am fed up this website actually as they don't save the information that you submit or they don't remind the information that you uh, put in so you have to be very attentive about this then the gender and then the address details so you can check it automatically reflects the change and then okay so now address is filled and dual citizenship i don't have then click on agree and terms and conditions then click on proceed with the registration so date of birth must be entered okay so let me enter the date of birth quickly and here is the year and now i had done that now click on the proceed with the registration and you have the second tab there so let the page appear for the second tab so i am taking time if you think this video is going long so be patient about that as you might face the same issue that i am facing right now so you can check since citizenship status must be selected before you continue so where is the season status so i am an international student so again once this page reflects the change it might refresh or log you out so you have to keep eye on that and do patient to be patient with this interface as the australian university with the melbourne university particularly has this type of interface i am really uh, annoyed about that then citizenship of country again same details just it doesn't save the information that you actually put in then country so select that from the list and then so i think this time so country of birth uh, so choose the india from the list or the country that you hold the passport and now you can see 
it again saves the same tab information so it might wipe out the data that I already filled in so you should also uh, be facing this if you are facing this so then choose the main language that I speak and I don't have any status there and I will select no and previous student details so no I don't have any details there and the disability no I don't have are you interested in about disability so no and then I think proceed with the registration and it should take us to the next page and in next page we have select the information so wait for the second page to appear and the page will be there so now you have the information again here and highest school level completed so I had completed year 12 then highest level of education so just submit you had the I had I'm applying for the masters actually so I'll select the bachelors and if you're applying for the bachelors just select the high school and then level so you can check this keeps uh, the page refreshing again and again and then move to the select apply submit wait for the few seconds so that the information is saved so now select the year that you completed the degree and then click on this proceed with the registration so I hope this time it should go to the next page it keeps going next page but it adds the information for the registration tab I already did submit that but for you I am showing it over and again and wait for the information so you can check I had previously this already submitted one of the applications and now you can check registration is complete and now click with the proceed with the registration so it's registering and after that you have to fill the education details the course that you wish to apply for and the scholarship that you wish to apply for and upon documents you have you don't have to fill the elite section so you have to select that I had previously completed education in the English language so select just submit the English proficiency certificate and there is nothing to worry about that wait for a few seconds as the page will be there on the refraction so wait for that so as you see you have successfully uh, so you have been successfully registered as a user in our system and a mail has been sent so now click on proceed with the application as the mail is there so the mail has arrived already and now registration is complete it's green now select the course and title and you can uh, select the course title or the course code suppose I'll go with this course title I will go with the masters and now I will search and the courses should reflect on this page currently there is no such specific course so let me choose the year and just search the course so first you have to get the course code how you will do that so you can check the graduate course so click on this graduate course and the course page will be showing here so you can check different courses there suppose I'll go with the uh, this accounting wait for its course code to appear so you can check and I will go with the graduate course so here is the graduate courses so suppose I'll go with the masters of management so select the coursework and then you have to look for the course code there and check out the course code so here is the course code so let me copy this course code here and copy this to the portal here and then paste and then click on the search button here and the page should reflect and the search will be there so wait for the few seconds so that the search will be shown and there is something missing that I am putting in incorrect and let me again search so there is no search results displayed on this course but there is this is the actual course code you can see you might face this as currently they are going through the in the development phase and so let me go back to this careers and census and log out one more time so then login back 
you might face the uh, issue with this as you see then you have to select the uh, let me just clear this and just randomly search any of the courses if they will be shown here and that I should so you should try and find your course here and course type actually you have to select that as well so let me submit the masters so you can filter it by keyword also I don't know why this is not showing any results right now but I already submitted one application and you should try it on your basis and then once you select the course take that course then apply for that course upload the documents in documents then don't submit the eyelids just skip that and submit the English proficiency certificate after that if you had completed the uh, Melbourne University application you can go with the ANU University application for that you have to go on this more information and visit here so click on the same process and once you click on that you can check Australian government research training program AGRTP stipend scholarship is there and the value is $34,000 per annum so this is actually Australian dollars and then scroll down all details are there so so how uh, here is the how to apply so let me show you that so how to apply no application required specifically for the scholarship as eligible candidates will be considered automatically so they you would be if you are applying for admission you will be considered automatically for going for admissions you have to click on this study button here so click on this study tab here once you click on that study tab you can check study with us and query study options scholarships and click on this apply here in the third tab click on this apply once you click on that apply you can check study at ANU and information is there so tell us about yourself so first you are an international student then if you wish to go for the undergraduate or postgraduate if you wish to go for the research you can do that and if you wish to go for the PhD you can do that suppose I'll go with the undergraduate program so click on this undergraduate here and once you click on that undergraduate so you can check international applicants programs will be shown here so all the details are there suppose I will go with this bachelor of accounting in the commerce so click on click on this learn more button and once you do that you can check the tab is there all the information is there course code is there each and every detail is there now click on this apply button here at the top right and once you do that you can check domestic applicants and international applicants select as the international applicants here and click on this applicants so click on this apply button for the international applicants and it should be taking you to the new application page for the Australian National University so this university has very easy page information and right now the our application is unavailable between 2 a.m. and so right now it's Sydney time and I'm using IST Asian standard time or the Indian standard time and at, as there is the a.m. student uh, a.m. right now so they have the application unavailable right now but if you try in the day in Asian time you the application is available there so do check out that and keep note of the timings similarly you can go with the Smania University Sydney University uh, Daikin University Canberra University and southern australia university so there is nothing to worry about the eyelids just skip the eyelids by uploading the english proficiency certificate so let me show you how this english proficiency certificate looks and how what is the format for that so here is the sample uh, format this format if you are applying uh, without english proficiency or without the eyelids you need this format so what you have to do is just write it in the same format that this is to set for that that uh, your name has demonstrated a high level of proficiency, uh, proficiency in the English language uh, that he has completed a legal skills in parallel, uh, parallel law certificate or your course and then so let me reload the page and then the uh, certificate and holds ABC school certificate of in, uh, education in English with high proficiency based on his performance in these programs we have no doubt that AB student has his performance in these programs and we have no doubt that he has the necessary language skills to excel in the BSc program or MSc program whichever you are applying majoring like in politics accounting any of the courses that you wish we wish him all the best in the future and use and are confident that he will be a valuable asset to any program or the institution simply then you have to stamp it from that institution and sign that and this should be printed on the letterhead if you are applying 
uh, with this letter so you have to apply this letter as on behalf of institution and if you do not have the option to have the stamp from the institution if you can uh, if you don't if you have the difficulty like if you have studied in canada and if you have studied in other country rather than you are studying or if you are rather than you are living in so suppose you are from india and you have studied in uh, uh, Nepal or Bangladesh so you don't have the English preference that we right now available from that institution so what you will do you will choose this format too so no need to print this just correct the information with the names and then you have to give certify that certify by yourself and this is like an affidavit that I am I dash ABC I am writing to confirm that I have so you have used you have to use I as you are just uh, giving a certification by yourself so you have to mention that that I have a high level of English proficiencies I have I have a high level of proficiency in English language I have completed a legal skills in this course and hold a dash school certificate in English with high proficiency this is this along with my previous educational experience and language abilities I am confident that I have the necessary language skills to excel in the BSc MSc or a dash program uh, majoring in accounting politics etc I am excited about this opportunity and I am confident that my language proficiency will enable me to succeed academically and professionally in an English speaking environment or the English oriented course. So we have to write it for you. If you want us to write your application proficiency or statement of purpose, motivation letter, we have a lot of samples to show you, but we don't want it right now as you might copy and we, we don't want your application to fail. And if you are applying for any of the courses, just there is nothing to worry about eyelids or TOEFL. Just submit without eyelids and TOEFL and do just use the English proficiency certificate and that's enough. I know a lot of students get selected with that. We have a lot of alumni who got selected and scholarships, 100% scholarships in many of the countries without eyelids. And you are one among them. You, you should be confident on yourself. Never let yourself be down. And just subscribe to our YouTube channel, Full Scholarships. Keep watching. Have a nice day ahead.